Welcome to Growing, Devotions for Your Daily Life. I've often heard this statement, and I'm sure you have too, is that time is a healer, or time heals all, or time helps you forgive, or time will help you get over somebody. That's not true. Time is just time. Time is not good. Time is not bad. It's just time. It's sort of like money. Money is not good. Money is not bad. The Bible doesn't say money is the root of all evil. It says the love of money is the root of all evil. It's what we do with that money determines if it's good or if it's bad. Just the same way with time. What we do with our time determines if it's good or if it's bad. I have an illustration for you today that sort of represents Psalms chapter 90 verse 12. And it tells us this, to teach us to number our days. Meaning that there is going to be a beginning and most likely there's going to be an end unless the rapture takes place. But he's saying this, what are you doing with the time during your day? So I have a representation of a little illustration you may have seen before, but it, it shows here the how we use our time. Here, I just have some sand in this in this container here, and this would represent things that really have no eternal value whatsoever, such as, you know, social media on it, um, video games, shopping, um, <clears throat> playing your favorite sport, maybe it's a hobby, maybe it's just watching TV, maybe you enjoy Candy Crush, maybe you enjoy getting together and playing uh, cards uh, with your friends. And so here, that just sort of represents that part of our life. But here I have some rocks that represent some of the major things in our life. Things that have eternal value, uh, such as <clears throat> um, witnessing to our friends. Maybe it's what we pour into our families. Maybe it's our time that we spend uh, with the Lord. M maybe it's uh, avoiding sin. And, and you see the issue already. Uh, there's a lot of lot more things that have eternal value. Being kind one to another, avoiding temptation. Maybe it's working hard at your job. All these things are important, but we filled them up with something else. So let me remove these rocks right here, or this this what represents our our important time on a daily basis. And so here, I've got another container that represents our life. And before we, we put the social media aside, we'll put the games aside, we put the stuff with no eternal value, let's, let's put our time with the Lord first, you know? How about the time we spend with our family? Because we all know that our kids will not be around long before they're out of the house. What about the time we spend with our spouse? What a t the time of avoiding sin and uh, temptation? What about good works? What about the things we do and um, the things we do because we have faith in Jesus Christ? What about our daily witness? So here we have the same amount of rocks that were in here before, or actually we have more. And so and so we're going to take these things, the social media, the Candy Crush, all these things. Now, understand this. There's nothing sinful about these things. There's nothing bad about shopping. Well, sometimes it can be for some people. But there's nothing bad about these things. There's nothing wrong with playing video games. There's nothing wrong with playing cards with your friends. All these things are okay. However, these are often the things that we go to first. How about if we take our time, we've got all the important things, we're doing those, and then we begin to fill our time with this. Now notice how we couldn't even get half of the important things in before. Now, let's throw in this. Now, we, we have to take showers, do we not? Do we have to brush our teeth? We have to clean the house. We have to mow the yard. We have to fill our cars up with gas. We have to go grocery shopping. We have to pay bills. We have to do laundry. We have to respond to the emails and the calls and the text. And Now look how much more time we have in our life 
because of what we put as a priority. I pray as you think about your day and you just sit there. I heard people. I hear people say it all the time. I don't have time. I don't have time. Well, what are you doing with your time? One of the coolest projects that we did in college was this. The professor in our psychology class handed out a piece of paper and it had like 8 to 9 a.m., 9 to 10, 10 to 11. And it had 24-hour days, seven days a week. And our responsibility was to write out what we did with our entire week. Each hour, we had to tell exactly what we did. It was amazing what I learned, how much time we really have. Even in college where I thought, I have no time because I'm always working. I'm always studying. I really did have time. What are you doing with your time? I pray that you number your days. I hope you have a good day.